Here we go, folks. Yeah, let's see what we got. Let's go way over here. <clears throat> Good. We are on. Wow, I'm on. That was fast. Uh, Google is on. Is Apple on yet? Yeah, I haven't seen anything over here yet. Uh-oh. Let me turn down my volume, volume feed. <laughs> oh, she's even got volume going on. Whoa. Barbara's watching. Good morning, Barbara. Hey, Barbara. All right, let me, uh, you can... Uh, and she's on Apple, so that means uh, she's watching so we're, we're on good her to go, iPad. Right? Yeah, so okay. we're, I think we're good to go. Okay. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Joel, guess what time it is? What time is it? Well, you... it's raining. It's Saturday morning, and it must be <laughs> time for Smack and Jack Live here in lovely, lovely uh, uh, Seattle, Washington. We have oh, yeah, yeah we have moved to we're Seattle, Washington. This, yes, this time. yeah, but we're uh, we're gonna get a couple grunge bands in here this afternoon. Talk okay. to Dave Grohl, see what's going on, all that stuff. So hey, uh, we got some uh, the show's starting right now. We got some announcements. We're gonna talk about the website, what Joel's been doing with the uh, with the four percent group and all that. We got joke of the day. We got some trivia. We got some facts. Uh, we got the trivia answers, and then our ever popular birthday minute. So grab your cup of coffee. Sit back, enjoy, and we will be right back. And here we go. From the Somerset Studios in Westchester, Pennsylvania, it's Smacky Jack Live with your co hosts Keith and Joel Spenderman. Is even awake today. Wow. Woo -hoo. Is this okay? Or Not a whole lot of product. Yeah, that's right? doesn't that's really matter. Fine. Doesn't really matter too much. Let's uh, talk about our our snowball microball snowball. blue. I don't know why it's called blue because it's white, but uh, you know. I think anyway. blue is the name of the company. Oh, okay. And they yeah. ran out of Whoops. blue paint. Sorry about that, folks. Shut down our music. <sighs> so anyway, uh, good morning. Hey, I'm wearing my new. What is this? Is this a polo or a golf shirt? Yeah, we call it? that a, a polo, if you will. Smack Jack, which is, which is always available. You can always get this stuff from us. Um, yep. Yeah, just give us a call. Give us a call. It might take you a month or two. But... No, no, no. Don't give us a call. Holy mackerel. <laughs> no, no. That's so archaic. <laughs> really? Send us a message or... We're not doing this by phone, are we? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> the only phone we have is like that rotary thing. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. Always busy. <laughs> uh, before we start today, I just want to remind everybody that we still have our stickers. Lovely stickers go anywhere, and lovely magnets go anywhere, especially yeah. on a very nice barred BMW. Thank you, Thomas. Yes. Uh, magnets. And then, and then when you give it back to the person, you can forget that the, the magnet. They can take it off or they can leave it there. Indeed. Uh, chances are it'll be there for a week or two. So. Yep. All right. Anyway. Let's hear for the magnets and stickers. Yeah. All right. All right, our announcements. Let's get to them. What's going on, Joe? All right, so... Um, well, I already did part of the announcements. No, that's okay. fine. Yeah. Magnets so last sticker. night um, was the homecoming game for Pancrest. And, okay. And, uh, and who's in Pancrest? Uh, Sophia's at Pancrest. Okay, yep. yeah. So uh, they there was a homecoming band that was supposed to play. Okay. So... Um, so I got my trumpet all shined up. I did a little practicing all week. I thought I'd play with the homecoming band. Mm -hmm. So last night I'm getting ready. And I'm thinking, all right, so it's going to be a little chilly. So Sophia said, why don't you wear my sweatshirt? And I was like, all right, I'll wear your sweatshirt. A little small, but, you know, <laughs> medium. It's a medium adult. And I was like, all right, I can wear it. I it. But I thought, you know, it's going to be a little chilly. What can I wear? And right. Well, I thought I'll wear a uh, one of my long sleeve smack and jack long sleeve T-shirts. Okay, good yeah. idea. Yeah. So, and, uh, you know, and, I, and I'd put this sweatshirt over top of it. So getting ready, you know, I go into the bathroom downstairs. Uh, I was getting dinner ready, and I hear some comment about Daddy wearing a Smack and Jack shirt. And I was like, all right, I'll just let that go. Mm -hmm. So I come out of the bathroom, and uh, uh, I hear my other daughter says, Daddy, do you have to wear that tonight? Oh. I said, you know what? I'll save you all the embarrassment. I just won't go. So I ended up oh. staying home. Because uh, I didn't want to be an embarrassment to my uh, lovely girls. Uh, a little bit more dramatic than that. Um, but, uh, it, 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 and that's all I'll say about that. <laughs> but it goes back to uh, ev every single book that I've read, whether it be real estate, uh, notes, uh, internet marketing, 
your your least supportive group will be those the closest are, to closest you. To yes. You. Yeah. Yep. The least supportive. So group. when the yacht comes around, yacht, not not a center console, but a yacht. <laughs> um, they're not. They're, they're, they're That's just right. gonna have to wave from the yep, from the shoreline. They, okay. they, can, they can see it in pictures. All right. right. Okay. So uh, oh, anyway, well, oh, anyway, so I, 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 you know, I, I cut the grass. Yeah. <laughs> cut the grass and I uh, practice a little bit. You know. Yeah, I feel for you, but I, I will just never experience that. And, and, it's, <laughs> and it's probably pro silly on my part. But, well, you know. I, I don't know if I could handle it. Well, I'll tell you, tell you what, guys, you can only handle upsetting. so much, yeah. quite frankly, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, and that's why there's beer. <laughs> I can only take so much sometimes. So uh, so that's uh, what happened. All right, so let's move on. Let's uh, not be a downer. Yeah. <laughs> let's not be a downer, you know. I do my what about thing. the uh, uh, football game Sunday? <laughs> okay. All right, so uh, once again, Pancras uh, <laughs> lost last night, which is fine. Pancras has not won a game yet. They've been outscored by about 1,000 to 50 over the course of – uh, the, the last few weeks. <laughs> However, there is a uh, another um, school that's close by. It's called Sun Valley, and uh, Sun Valley actually beat Pancras. I think it's like that's in Chichester, correct? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so they they beat Pancras the first week of the the, the um, season. I think the the score was like fifty four to seven, or uh, maybe it was a little bit closer now, but it was pretty lopsided. So anyway, that Sun Valley team w took a trip out to. Um, Ohio for some some reason to play a, a high school out in Ohio and I just wanted to um, to show the the post that I got this from one of my friends Lori uh, Harper in the Sun Valley football game 94 to 6 with a quarter to go um, well yes with a quarter to go and you see down here the final was a hundred and one to six. Wow. So I don't know if Sun Valley will go back out to Ohio again. I, well, my question is, how are they going to get home? Because they're certainly not going to be taking the same bus. The bus is going to be <laughs> now, whoa, whoa, so. whoa, 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 whoa. This wasn't the yeah, deal. Yeah, right, right, right. This was not the deal. Not the deal to come out here and get, yeah. uh, get your so, thumb shined up. So, uh, you know, uh, a couple people were asking, is there a mercy rule? I guess not with high school. Wow. And, and then down here... Uh, who they face or they're playing. Somebody said WTF. And uh, uh, I, I'm wondering why somebody would say, where are the fire trucks? I yeah. don't know. I don't know what the fire trucks have to do with anything. But anyway. Uh, Maybe that means where they fired. Probably the whole team would have been fired. <laughs> Maybe so. Fired? but uh, oh, you know, So I don't know if Sun Valley will be going back out to Ohio. Yeah, wow. They're going to cross that one off their, their list. Yes. I'm not sure why they went out there. Just some sort of, you know. I, interstate kind yeah, of, yeah, yeah something like that yeah okay so um it's it's, it's still something kind of weird this is yeah, a little bit early but it's it's a little upsetting this I can't is a little this concerning yeah um regarding the upcoming season here and again one of my friends uh one of our good friends from church posted this jan thank you very much for yeah. posting this um apparently there is uh no nativity scene in washington dc this year of course, always an issue yeah, for me. Yeah, all yep. that kind of stuff, yeah. All right, so the Supreme Court has ruled that there cannot be a nativity scene on Capitol Hill this Christmas season. This isn't for any religious reason. They simply have not been able to find three wise men in the nation's capital. capital. Oh, oh, I get it. Yeah, <laughs> and a search for a virgin also continues. <laughs> there was no problem, however, finding enough asses to fill the stable. <laughs> oh, okay. Just, all right. I, now I feel... Ah, uh, that's... Yeah, you know. <laughs> what else can I say? Thank you, Jan, for sharing Very that good. with us. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say. You know, those. Um, uh, that, that's coming from Jan. That's it's kind of funny, and it, it's actually it's funnier than our jokes of the day. Yes. So, so that's, actually, that's maybe just, well, that's Jan's new job. Maybe we should have her. On yeah, the that's show. right. We, she should be a, yeah. a contributing editor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so, goodness. All right, sakes. what else we have here? Is that it for? Oh, yeah. you wanted to say something about? Yeah. The Eagles, uh, right? Now I'm just new to this game sport of football. That's right, as we discovered last year. Uh, and I can't figure out still how they make that thing go through there. But anyway, on our first Thursday night game, yeah, uh, the Eagles won. The Eagles won big time. Yeah, yeah they they look good. A pretty good show. Uh, what was it? Thirty four to thirteen or something like that. Uh, they beat the Giants. Now, yep. um, a couple of things here. Number one, the Eagles really did look pretty good against the Giants. Number two, the Giants looked horrible. Yeah, I watched a lot of that game. They looked hard. They looked like Sun Valley <laughs> <laughs> playing yes. uh, the Ohio team. Yes. But, uh, uh, yeah, but I will tell you this, Giants have that running back from Penn State, man. He is 
I wish the Eagles had gotten him. <laughs> yeah. This kid is good. He is real. I can't remember his last name. Barkley, I think it is his last name. But, man, he is a – Barbara will know. She'll let us know. Yeah, right, right. Uh, but he is an awesome running back. I wish he was gotten him. But other than that, the, the Giants, man, they just kind of shut down. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so good for us. So let's get though. into right. um, uh, our next segment. We've changed things around a little bit. We're not going to do the joke of the day right now. Last week, um, I don't know what happened. We kind of got we, yeah moving. And, uh, you know, I'm supposed to make sure we do everything on our list. And I don't know where I was last week. I, I was – Half here. Uh, halfway. So okay. anyway, we're going to do our web thing right now. So Yeah, so we got a little bit. Um, we're, we changed our order a little bit. We skipped something last week that I really wanted to touch on. It's only a couple minutes, but yeah. uh, we skipped it. Uh, we didn't realize until after the show. So we put that in our number two spot. So you're going to have to hold on uh, for the joke of the day. Okay. So stick around, folks. We have some really good stuff, and then we get to our joke of the day. Sounds, Sounds good. A good deal? All right. Mm-hmm. So let's take a look at... Um, uh, when you set up a website, you have to you have to think about SEO, and SEO means search engine optimization, which okay. which means you have to kind of set yourself up so that um, Google and other search engines can find you easily when somebody types in a, a search query or okay. you know so forth. So. Um, through the back office of the 4% group, this is one of the members of 4%. This is not Vic. This is one of the members who has put together this um, e-stage training so that whoever owns this website uh, program can follow this training and get as much accomplished as possible. Okay. Now, this is Nigel. I've talked about Nigel before. He has what we're doing is a cut above the rest. Okay, and so, so I'm not going to show you two or... Uh, go too much into that. But right now he's talking about turning on and turning off pages. Uh, There's a way that when um, when people type in a search, uh, a word, you want to make sure they go to the correct page and not to pages that are blank or not being used. Okay. Okay. So the way to do that in the back office here, you know, all this stuff here, I pretty much have no idea what to do with, you know. So he's going through and showing us exactly what to turn on. Do I want to see search products? Yes or no. Um, and I just tell him exactly what he wants, what he wants us to put in, so that it makes it easier uh, for Google to find exactly what we want them to find. Okay. Okay. So that's again just another um, part of the four percent back office group that you can uh, go through, and it's a training that will help you get your content more visible to Google, okay. which is what which we want to do. Now it goes through all these different tabs here. Um, as, as you can imagine, it's not very exciting, <laughs> but it's, it's stuff that you have to do if you want to have your website out there. Okay. Um, and again, a lot of this stuff, I just kind of gloss over because I don't know what to do with it. Right. Um, so it takes a program like this for him to go through it step by step you know, these are about an hour long, go through each component of the website step by step so that I just do what he tells me to do. And that's going to optimize my our site to be visible to everybody else. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So again, just let me know if you're interested in that. I know that sounds as boring as watching paint dry. <laughs> uh, and trust me, sometimes it is, but it's some of that technical stuff that you have to, you don't necessarily have to learn all about it, but just do what he tells you to do. Right. Basically, right. right? Okay. So the other thing I wanted to show you is that last week we talked about the video uh, that we had up. And let's see if I can find it. The video that we used for our products page. And it looks like this. Hey, folks. We're so happy that you landed here yes, at SuperJack.com. So <laughs> this is our product so. page. You are here in search of a value. All right. So I'm going to pause that for now. But anyway, I got it to come on automatically. Okay. Uh, we and we talked about that last year. That you have to put a little bit of code snippet into the um, HTML uh, in order to get that YouTube video to play automatically. Okay. Okay. So I have it here. I have our subscriber button over here. And as I was telling you before the show, I'm not exactly happy with the way that it is set up right now. Like, why is this subscribe button halfway off of oh, here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and and in the margins, the bordering, this, that, and the other thing, it's been pretty tricky. Um, I, you know, I could go back to the way I had it yesterday. It was a little bit just more plain than that, but I was trying to make it a little bit more 
uh, it, uh, just a little bit pleasing to the eye, which mm -hmm. right now is not pleasing at all. So down here is another version of it. Um, as you see, I got it to pop in there, subscribe here. But again, I wanted this button here to be over there, more centered. I can't get the video to auto play down here. Uh, why I don't know, it's why it's not working in that particular container. I'm not really sure. Um, so yeah. Uh. So just let me know what you think about that. Any thoughts on that, Keith? Or are you kind of? Uh, no, I'm baffled. I'm guys, losing so, you here. Yes. <laughs> So all this stuff, you know, you got to go in and you put in your bordering and it's kind of like um, a lot of the stuff is set up for you. But if you want to add something new to this particular template, uh, it's hard to change. It, yes. So anyway, that's where we are with the website. A little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. I'm in no hurry. Yeah. As I tell I think... a lot of people in the group that um, I have an idea this has become my retirement plan. So to actually do this or just work on it to to get it going by the yeah. time i retire oh okay you know luckily you're 10 years younger <laughs> than me because uh, uh we might need it anyway uh so so i want to barbara's answering a question we had earlier and i can't remember what the question was. saquon barkley is the running back for the giants oh wow well, well, the good guy job, from, Barbara. yeah, yeah very good, good job Barbara, yeah. yes yeah, he's good, and he, he he's this is his first year. He came from Penn State. Oh wow! Okay. And uh, <clears throat> I think he went number one. I think he went number two in the draft. Um, and they he was. Won, didn't Penn State won win last year? Their... Did they win the title? I'm I, not really sure. Maybe they did. Did they? Uh, and Barbara would probably know that. Yes, yes. Uh, but anyway. Okay. Anyway. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Great. Moving on to our joke of the joke day. Of the day. Let's yes. lighten things up Let's around here, it. folks. Okay. We've been pretty heavy so yes. far. <laughs> Whoa. All right. <sighs> Are you ready for our joke? Okay. Yes, I am. Let's let's have All it, right. Joel. Number one. What did the TV dinner say after it had been packaged? What? Curses foiled again. <laughs> they only get better from here folks that's right okay why did the sandwiches leave the bar why because it didn't serve food <laughs> i have to say i had to read uh, i had to think about both it. of these jokes Surf, yes. yeah before a little I... cerebral these yeah, jokes. yeah yeah they are all right why was the man uh star staring at the can of orange juice why? Because it said concentrate. <laughs> Getting better. Getting better all the time. All right, last one. Why did the egg accuse the chef of cruelty? Why? He put her in a bowl and beat her. Yes. <laughs> Joke of very good, very good, very good, very good. Yeah, we got, yeah, there we go. Very good. That's Don't bother looking for, for that book. There was only one, and we got it. Thanks, Uncle Brad, once That's again. That's all we got for yes. you. Yeah. All, all right. What do we got next there, Keith? Uh, a little bit of trivia. Let's let's check out our trivia. And then once again, we're going we're gonna to read the trivia off, and we're going to give our audience, our audience of one so far today. Yeah. Thanks, Barbara. Uh, everybody will wake up. I'm, I'm yeah. Up. I, well, <laughs> if I wasn't here, I'd... Still uh, yeah, it still would be too. Uh, and then we're gonna uh, come do some facts, and we'll come back to our trivia answer. So we'll give you a minute or two to. Yep. Uh, so let's see what we got there, Joe. Okay. Let's get to here and to here, and we can close out this one, that one, and that one, and that brings us to our trivia. All right. <clears throat> Which video game studio created the popular online game Fortnite? I have no idea. I don't even know what the, the game is. <laughs> it's pretty popular, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> what popular Disney movie is set near Salem, Massachusetts in the years 1693 and 1993? Hmm. Huh. Who patented the concept of a flat engine or boxer engine in 1896? Oh, I think I know you this. Think you know that mm -hmm. one? I thought you might. Who was the King of Britain during the American Revolutionary War? Oh. Okay. In what city does a Creole lady of the night strut her stuff, according to the original 1974 song, Lady uh, Marmalade? Marmalade. 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 Is that what you put on a sandwich? Marmalade. Yes. I don't know what you put marmalade on. Uh, the expression uh. oy vey comes from what language? Yeah. Uh, I, I, Where I, I, does SpongeBob SquarePants work? 
Okay. And let's see. Which U.S. president issued the Emancipation Proclamation? Oh. And I think we'll end it right there because the next one's from last week. Okay, so let's review this again. Uh, video game, what studio uh, created Fortnite? What popular Disney movie is set in Salem in the year 1693 and 1993? Who patented the flat engine or boxer engine in 1896? Who was the king of Britain during the American Revolutionary War? And in what city does a Creole lady of night strut her stuff according to the original 74 song Lady Marmalade? Is that right? The expression mm -hmm. oy vey comes from what language? And where does square SpongeBob SquarePants work? What U.S. president issued the Emancipation Proclamation? All right, I think that is it. Yes. Okay, so let's go on to our facts of the day. Are we ready for okay. facts? You know what? Let's get a little music, I think. Uh, oh, do we have music going on here? All right, facts of the day comes with music. Do, 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 do. Oh, we're going to hear it. Here oh, we you were going to give us... Well, I was ah, going to... sorry, Keith. You were going to give us some music. All right. <laughs> All right. Mexica founders and dominant group of the Aztec Empire were one of the first people in the world to have mandatory education for nearly all children regardless of gender, rank, or station. Wow. Yeah, so that, that was something a, that was a long time ago, it wasn't sure it? It was. And it's still not 90, mandatory all over the world. Right, right, I know. 93% of Indians work in informal off-the-books jobs and get paid in cash. That wow. is interesting, yeah. Led Zeppelin was refused entry into Singapore in 1972 because the band members had long hair. Wow. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is kind of interesting. Oh. Paper cuts hurt so much because they bleed very little, if at all, leaving the skin's pain receptors open to air. Yeah, they oh. always seem to like inflict a lot of pain. Yeah, they do. Like, seems to yep. get me like, ah. Mm -hmm. Duncan Toys Company went bankrupt after a judge ruled yo-yo had become too ingrained in common speech to remain trademarked. Man. Ah, that judge was a yo-yo. <laughs> <laughs> Is that crazy? No kidding. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's a shame. Yeah. Percuss Who didn't have a yo-yo when they were a kid? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I know. Percussive maintenance is the t term for hitting something until it works. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Dude. That is great. We had a TV. Yeah. Remember that Dad TV? Dad banged the hell out of it until it worked. Yep. And the Sat kitchen. in the, the kitchen there yep. and that thing worked. <laughs> Because that's where we had to watch the hockey games because mom would watch what are, you know National Geographic yeah. in the other room. <laughs> mom used to watch uh, World War II um, documentaries. Right. World at War. That's right. what it was yes, called. Yes, yes, yes. And they were all in black and white anyway. Right. But she watched it on the color on TV. On the color TV. We had and we had to watch the hockey games <laughs> on the black and white TV. They had the thing that kept... <laughs> yeah. Uh... Oh, I can remember Dad beating the crap out of that thing. I could hear it upstairs in the bedroom. Yep, with a drumstick. One of my drumsticks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. whack. 100 Years, the movie you will never see, starring John Malkovich and directed by Robert Rodriguez, won't be in theaters until 2115. Wow. Now, they're really taking a bet on that. They're, are there going to be theaters in the year 2115? Yeah, yeah, there might not be. I mean, what is that? It's like... Uh... That's uh, 100 Years. Oh, it is? Yeah. 100, yeah. Wow. Well, almost 100 Years. From now, crazy, no, huh? No, well, that's yeah. very interesting, huh? Table beer, one half percent al alcohol, was served in Belgian schools until the 1980s. Wow! Can that you is believe awesome. that? That yeah. if I'd have gone to school in Belgium, I would have had you would have because I graduated. Much better. Yeah, I would have done, done much, much better. better. There are no reported cases of runners dying of dehydration during marathons, but there are plenty of cases of runners dying from water intoxication. Wow, too much water. That is wow. interesting, yeah. Huh. That, and, and that's something you never hear about, drinking uh -uh. too much water. Yeah. From, I guess, what do you do? Basically drown? Dry. Yeah, you must. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. One of Richard Nixon's re-election slogans in 1972 was, You can't lick our dick. Oh, oh my God. That is great. Good old tricky dick there. Oh, too wow. bad. Bravo. Bravo. Wow. All no right. kidding. Too funny. Too funny. All right, folks. So that brings us back to our trivia answers, right? All right. We need to get yeah. back there. Yes, I'm uh, uh, making sure that we're going on our agenda. Right. Yeah, let me, let me cross everything off. Let's see what we did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yep, 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 you got yep. it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it looks like so we're, we're ready to go. Trivia answers. Okay, let's get us into the correct frame here. Frame of mine. Uh, trivia two. There we go. All right, folks. So, did anybody give us any feedback on these? Um, we got no, Saquon no. Barkley. All right. Hey, Jackie. Jackie uh, Reese, our colleague at school. All right, which video game studio created the popular online game Fortnite? Answer is, because you and I have no idea. Anybody have an answer out there? All right, here we go. Epic, Epic games. games. Oh, I should have known. I've never, ever heard of Epic. I've never heard of any of that. <laughs> We're old. Yeah, we are old. What popular Disney movie is set near Salem, Massachusetts in the years 1863 and 1993? Uh... Which mountain? What was that? Escape the Witch Mountain? No. Uh, Hocus Pocus! Oh. Speaking of something I've never heard of no. before, as far as movies. I've heard of Walt Disney, though. Yeah. <laughs> Who patented the concept of a flat engine or boxer engine in 1896? Uh, and you think and it I forget, is. I forget his first name, but it's Porsche. Porsche. Carl Benz. Oh, Carl Benz! I guess that's the, uh, the colleague of Mercedes. Uh, yeah, right? well, let's. Yeah. Who was the King of Britain yeah, during the well. American Revolutionary War? I actually knew this one. Go ahead. George ah, III. George King George III. III. All right. In what city does the uh, Creole lady of the night strut her stuff, according to the original 74 song, Lady Marmalade? Is that how I'm saying it? Yeah, New Orleans, I think. Oh, yeah, got it. I'm well done. singing the, yeah. the song for you. Yeah. The expression oy vey comes from what language? It's Jewish, but what, what's their... Yiddish. 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 Yay. Yeah. Well, Good I, job. I think I get 10 <clears throat> points out of it. Where does SpongeBob SquarePants work? Ah, the Krusty Krab. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Which U.S. president <clears throat> issued the Emancipation Proclamation? Uh, <clears throat> Lincoln. Didn't we? Abraham Lincoln. Yep. yep. And we're back to last week. Okay. Bravo, folks. Yeah, yeah. Let Very us good. know how you yeah, did yeah. on them. Did you get two? Two of them correct? I did not do as well. I was really a boxer. I just... Of course, it's still making it using a boxer. I've never seen a boxer in Mercedes, but you know, well, I'm not even sure what that means, but well, it's opposing. It's a most engines are V's, yeah, or straight, or straight. and these were opposing, uh, you oh, know, the, uh, BMW. Like the BMW, yeah, the, the, the yeah. motorcycle, okay. yes, yeah, all right, gotcha. Box. You know, because they know box, that. they back to each uh, you know, I, got it. I didn't realize pistons that was the are boxing each other, yep. Okay. All right. That's as much I, a, a automo, uh, yeah. BL, uh, automotive as I know. And I, well, apparently I only know <laughs> half of it. <laughs> I learned something today yes. on, on our show. <laughs> right here on the set. Even, anybody I, can learn something on Smack right. Jack Live. You never know what's going to happen. So, okay. All right. Looks like we're time for the birthday, birthday minute. minute. Let's, let's yeah, get into, let's get into the birthday minute. Here we go, folks. And now it's time for the Smack and Jack birthday minute. Birthday minute. Day great day and a great birthday week birthday. for a birthday. Okay, who do we got, Keith? Well, it's a great day for a birthday because Friday the 13th this month falls on a Saturday. Saturday. Happy birthday, everybody. Yay. Yeah, we got a bunch of uh, celebrity birthdays. Sasha Baron Cohen, and I can't remember. What's the guy's name? He, he has that uh, English actor. He's a, a really crazy. Anyway, his birthday, uh, two, uh, 1971. Nancy Kerrigan was born this date in 1969. She's just about your age, Joe. Yeah, she's actually a little bit younger than yeah. me. Yeah, yep. Uh, Nancy Kerrigan, something about, uh, I don't know, all I can think of is the teeth. You know, she was, yes. she was generous on the teeth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Kelly Preston was born this day in 1962. Kelly Preston, very, still a very attractive woman, married to uh, John Travolta. Yay. Marie Osmond from the famed Osmond family. Yeah. Uh, she was born this day in 1959. Uh, Chris Carter. Probably one of my favorite shows to date. Uh, he, he did the X Files. He produced. Wrote, Does he do directed. The Simpsons too? Is no, he part of The Simpsons? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll do a little um, research. But yeah, X Files, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. He did Millennium. That that kind of okay. 
around the same time. I'm sure he's done other stuff too. Sammy Hagar, rocker Sammy Hagar, man Yay. from Van Hagar. Uh, solo stuff and uh, Cabo Waba. Sold, he made tequilas, Cabo Waba, sold it for $8 trillion. Wow. And he's doing okay nowadays. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Paul Simon, <laughs> born this day. Everybody knows Simon Garfunkel, Paul there Simon. 1941, Paul Simon was born. And the old Iron Lady, Maggie Thatcher, born this day, 1925. Uh, Maggie Thatcher was the Prime Minister wow. of England mm -hmm. from 1975 to 1990. Wow. Very tumultuous time. There was a lot yeah. of... Uh, yeah. Uh, Depression, uh, recession, uh, bad times in England in that time. And, and uh, she was a conservative leader of England in that time. Yeah. So, okay, right. let's see what we can Happy get a little bit closer. To all yeah, those folks yep. we don't know. Now, here's the question for our, our panel here. Um, um, is Maggie Thatcher still alive? Uh, no, she passed in Did 2013, okay. I believe. All right. Yes. All right, so yes. there goes our question. Because he knew the answer, yeah, which I is can't. so, yeah, so... Rare, Un so unkeith, <laughs> not uncouth, but unkeith. So. I wasn't quite sure. Yes. Okay, right. so we got close our friends. All right. All right. Happy birthday today. We're gonna go with Maria. Happy birthday, and Maria. my friend Rita. Oh, Rita, right? Rita, happy, happy birthday, birthday to Rita. Rita. Yeah. Okay. And tomorrow, Sunday, October the fourteenth, we have James, Samaya, and Tracy. Happy birthday, guys. Happy Monday birthday. the fifteenth, we have oh, nobody. No kidding. A vacancy. Tuesday to 16th, <laughs> Shanna and Vic. Happy birthday, guys. Wednesday to 17th, we have Chris, Connie, Michelle. Happy birthday, folks. <clears throat> Thursday, October 18th, we go with Jacob, Rich, and Sharon. Happy birthday. Uh, my friend Rich just had a baby yesterday or the day before. Yeah, so congratulations, congratulations yeah. there, Rich. Yeah. All right. Uh, Friday to 19th. Uh, Aisling and Lois. Happy birthday, Happy guys. Birthday. And on next Saturday, the 20th, Holly. Hey. Happy birthday, folks. All right. Ooh, a ooh, great ooh, week ooh, to have ooh. a birthday. Middle of October. What a, what a yes, great time. Yes, All right. Very good time. So yes. we are out of the birthday minute. Happy birthday, everybody, with a birthday this week. Here we go. And that was the Smack and Jack birthday minute. Birthday minute. Birthday minute. That's a really, I like that. You like that? I, I worked hard on that little banjo part. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so coming up next week, Keith, we have, uh, in two weeks is the Garnet Valley Flea Market. Okay. At the Garnet Valley High School, for right. those who are interested, okay. um, October 27th. So that means on October 27th, we cannot have a show. Okay. So therefore... We tried that last year and didn't really work out. It was uh, Yeah, of... you know, and I... I was kind of going back and forth here. We tried again this year, and I thought, you know, it's just, I'm, I'm so busy that day yeah. that trying to put a show in there as yeah. well. Yeah, and just, we, didn't, uh, we just really did a quick uh, hello, yeah. how well, you doing? Well, because we were, we were going to be set up outside to do our show. But and it was like this. It was just like this, just of like course. This. Um, so we ended up just doing a little quickie, um, you know, show. And, right. yeah, maybe I'll do something like that this week or next week, too, but. So next Saturday, the twentieth, needs to be our Halloween show. Okay. Ooh. So um, s make sure you tune in next Saturday for our Halloween show. And I have no idea what we're gonna do. I haven't paid my electric bill, so maybe we can get the lights to flicker a little bit. Oh, nice. Wouldn't that and be neat? Yep. Well, you know what? It happens when the lights flicker. Oh, no, yeah. no Wi-Fi. I'm gonna have to talk no to my neighbor. <laughs> See if I can get his pass. That's right. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll run a cord around to your neighbor yeah, and then nobody, uh, get the password. Right. Nobody's the wiser, and the show will go on. <laughs> Why are all those orange cords going across the, the <laughs> right, sidewalk out front? <laughs> so, anyway. All right. Well, I think that we need to get ourselves going on out of, about here. out of here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, once again, thanks for stopping by, yeah. guys. Uh, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's great having you on here. Even if you watch it on the YouTube channel, do that. You know, a lot of people do that. I know a lot of people are doing other stuff Saturday mornings. Yeah. It's always available. So remember, you deserve a thought of your own. So be in touch. We'll see you next time. See you next week, guys. Thanks.